Good afternoon and welcome to Google Classroom Basics. Before we get started, let's just try to get an idea of where we are knowledge-wise. Raise your hand if you are already using Google Classroom with your students. Okay, put your hands down. Raise your hand if you have at least logged into Google Classroom and explored a little bit. Okay, you can put your hands down. Now raise your hand if you have not even logged into Google Classroom, which is perfectly fine. All right, you can put your hands down. Um, hopefully by now you've noticed the big URL I wrote on the whiteboard, bit.ly forward slash PESDGC, as in Phoenix Elementary School District, Google Classroom. If you have not already done so, launch your web browser and go to bit.ly forward slash PESDGC. This is the web page for this class. Let's just go through it very quickly. Um, at the top of the page, you're going to see the agenda. And what we definitely want to cover today is a teacher creating a class, a teacher inviting students to join the class, uh, students join the class, the teacher creates an assignment and sends it to the students, and then the students complete the assignment and turn it into the teacher. If we have time, we'll look at some of the communications tools in Google Classroom, but uh, we may not get to that today. If you scroll down, you'll see some resources. Uh, the first one is login formats. That's a PDF file that shows you the login formats for logging into Google Classroom for a uh, teacher and a student. Now next to that is a YouTube playlist. I think it's eight videos that will take you step by step through everything we're going to cover today. So that YouTube playlist is always there for you. You never have to take notes today or feel like you have to memorize anything. And then down below is the evaluation for this class, a short evaluation that will ask you to complete when the class is over. So we're going to do this in kind of a strange way today. Um, I am going to log into Google Classroom as a teacher. So I'm already logged into Google Classroom as a teacher. And then on your uh, workstations, You've got a little strip of paper that is a uh, Google Classroom username and password for a student in our district. These are third graders. I checked with the teacher. They're not using Google Classroom right now. So I'm going to have each of you log into Google Classroom as a student. And then I will invite you to join a class. So I'll be the teacher and you'll be the student. I'll also In a different web browser, I'll be logged in to Google Classroom also as a student. So if I need to, I can switch to the student view on the smart board so you can see what that looks like. But at least starting out, I'll be logged in as a teacher. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is go to classroom.google.com. There should be a link or a bookmark on your web browser, classroom.google.com and log in with the username and password on that strip of paper. And I'll give you a little time to do that. Okay, is everybody logged in? Okay. So now I'm going to create a class. Remember, I'm the teacher, you're the students. I go to the upper right-hand corner of Google Classroom, I click on the plus sign, and I click Create Class, and I'll just call this Test Class, and click Create. So I created a class called Test Class, and if I scroll down a little bit, I'll see the class code. I want to write that down. It is for, I think that's a zero, RU91. We'll find out if it's a zero or no. 
40RU91. So now I'm going to switch over and be a student like you. So now if I refresh, and if I click on the plus sign, I've got uh, a message that says enter class code to join. So I'm going to type in 40RU91. Let's see if I got that right. And click join. So now I've joined the class. So let me go back to teacher view. And I'll just write that URL on the board for everybody. Four zero R U nine one. So what you want to do is click in that little plus side in the upper right hand corner and join the class by typing in that class code 40RU91. And I'll give you a little time to do that. All right, nice work. I took a little look around. It looks like everybody's joined that class. Now, the first thing I want to do is give you an assignment. So I'm going to click on the plus sign that's now in the lower right corner. Oops, I need to get back to being a teacher. Now I'm back to being a teacher. I click the plus sign in the lower right corner. And as a teacher, I've got four options. Create announcement, create assignment, create question, reuse post. As a student, you'll see you have fewer options, but I have four options, and I want to create an assignment. And let's call this assignment Sharks. And I'll, I'll avoid typing out the instructions, but let's say the instructions were to uh, look at this website about sharks and uh, let's say whale sharks. Look at this website about whale sharks and then write a short paragraph about what you would do if you were swimming in the ocean and came across a whale shark. So that would be the instructions. Now I also want to attach something to this assignment. If I look down here I see I can attach a file from my computer, a file from Google Drive, a YouTube video, or a link to a web page. So I'm going to find a web page about whale sharks. So I'll search for whale sharks. Enter. And here's the National Geographic article about whale sharks. So that's the web page I want to attach to this assignment. So I'm going to click on the URL, right click, left click copy. I'm going to go back into Google Classroom and I'm going to click on this link button and I can right click and left click copy or paste. I can right click and left click paste or I could press Control V on my keyboard to paste the URL, and now I click Assign. And Google Classroom is sending that assignment to you, my students. And now I see what it looks like. I see how many people have completed the assignment and how many people have not completed the assignment. Now if I switch back to Student View, over on the left now I say I've got an assignment named Sharks that's due tomorrow. If I click on it, 
I'll see the assignment. And remember, I didn't write this down, but the instructions were to write a paragraph about what you would do if you were swimming in the ocean and came across a whale shark. So I've got the option of adding a Google, a file from my Google Drive, a link, or a file from my computer. Or I can just create a new file. So I click Create. I've got a choice of docs, slides, sheets, or drawings. Since I'm writing a paragraph, what uh, Google uh, app would I use here? Yes, Google Docs. So I click Google Docs. And it creates a Google Doc called Sharks Johnny Kane. So I'm going to click on that link. That will take me to a blank Google Doc named Sharks Johnny Kane. I can write what I need to write. Go back to Google Classroom and click Turn In to turn in this assignment.